What's up everybody? Welcome to another camera comparison video. Yeah, today I have this iPhone 12 Pro Max and Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra. I'm actually using the selfie camera of Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra. I know I could have used that uh, rear camera of Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra, but I thought that that would be a bit unfair to this iPhone 12 Pro Max. Anyway, listen carefully which microphone sounds better. I have already noticed that uh, Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra have some exposure issues and the color grading of my cap of this uh, seat belt. Nothing is correct on Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra. But my cloth looks better because uh, white balance of uh, Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra is a bit better than iPhone 12 Pro Max. iPhone always tend to process uh, photos or videos with this warm color temperature. A question to my subscribers. Uh, do you think I look uh, ugly or better with this type of beard? My girlfriend doesn't like this. Uh, she wants me to get rid of this beard, but I don't want to shave. So I want your support. Anyway. It's time to flip to rear cameras. It's time to start our camera comparison video. But uh, before that, if you end up liking this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel. If you're new here, check my other videos. I always offer true content. So I wish that you would like this channel. I wish that you would like this video. Let's start our camera comparison video. iPhone 12 Pro Max comes with a 2.5x telephoto lens tagged with a 12 megapixel sensor. On the other hand, Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra comes with a flagship class sensor 48 megapixel Sony IMX586 and there is a 5x periscope lens on top of it. Both got OIS and stabilization shouldn't be an issue. This is actually hardware power versus premium optimized software. And yes, as expected, iPhone 12 Pro Max has failed to put any fight against Mi 11 Ultra when it's beyond its native zoom capabilities. I have tried to take many pictures at 5x, 10x, 15x and most of the time, Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra reproduced images with more details, sharpness and well-processed textures. Noise removing algorithm also worked amazingly fine on Mi 11 Ultra. But whenever I have tried to take zoom photos of moving objects, Mi 11 Ultra failed to process exposure and autofocus becomes aimless. Maybe erratic is the correct word to explain. I have also tried to take zoom photos at night and it goes down to personal preference. Both did well and I would say if both of these two results could be done in the same image then it would have been better. Xiaomi got better hardware and Apple got better software. Overall, of course, Mi 11 Ultra is better for 5x or above zoom photos, but if you have a moving object, then it's quite a task to get a good picture at 5x or 10x. I have said the same thing in my comparison video between Mi 11 Ultra and S21 Ultra. Mi 11 Ultra with a flagship class sensor. 48 megapixel Sony IMX586 underneath that ultra wide lens should have won by a mile. But Apple is the king of software optimization and here we have evidence of what Apple can do. Yes, iPhone 12 Pro Max has better exposure, better color grading, but in terms of details and textures, it's neck and neck. Even if there are heavy processing with artificial color grading, I cannot ignore iPhone 12 Pro Max actually have wider dynamic range. Yeah. A lot depends on what you like. I prefer photos that's true to life and that's why I'm gonna choose Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra. Regular photography is the most important thing for almost all the average users. People open smartphone camera and start taking photos. No, iPhone 12 Pro Max doesn't have a dedicated Pro mode but you can still change some settings in photo mode. Mi 11 Ultra offers Pro mode where you can change settings, select different options and take a perfect shot of your choice. But it is true that average users usually take photos in auto mode. So at the beginning, let me tell you that I have taken all these images in auto mode with auto HDR on. However, I have disabled AI on Mi 11 Ultra. I wanted correct and natural shots. I have noticed AI or scene detection on Mi 11 Ultra most of the time process photos with artificial flavor. On iPhone 12 Pro Max, you cannot enable or disable scene optimizer and here you can see the result. 
At a glance, most of the people would say, wow, iPhone 12 Pro Max has better dynamic range. But let me tell you, that's fake dynamic range. Sky didn't even have any blue tone at all. Mi 11 Ultra did great to retain the sky color, more details in the shadows, more textures, and yes, the whole image is overall much sharper than iPhone 12 Pro Max. Actually, this year, Apple has this aggressive processing and all the images are more like social media ready than anything close to reality. Yes, once we enable AI on Mi 11 Ultra and once there is a human subject, Mi 11 Ultra also becomes a social media beast. Colors are a bit saturated, especially very high mid-tones and vibrance along with cold color temperature makes things even more lucrative than iPhone 12 Pro Max. But this comes with a price. You lose a bit of a texture, skin tone is a bit more fair than usual. The differences on black and white is actually because of that white balance and ambience. Overall, it's very hard to judge. I always mention in all of my camera comparison videos and yes, a lot depends on personal preference. These videos are recorded at 4K 60 frames per second. Both of these smartphones records amazing 4K videos. Super crisp videos with full of details, but Mi 11 Ultra processed more details in the shadows and overall video quality on Mi 11 Ultra is better. But it doesn't mean Mi 11 Ultra clip is lucrative. As mentioned earlier, iPhone 12 Pro Max with heavy processing and added color grading reproduced video clips that is eye-pleasing. And once again, the whole sky has this fake blue tone. Also, that blue and white gradient isn't any dynamic range. That's just added to be there. When I was recording this video, the sky was totally grey. I mean, you can see that on Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra and that's correct. iPhone 12 Pro Max uses its 2.5x telephoto sensor by default for portrait shots. On the other hand, Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra uses its main sensor but it applies a 2x digital zoom for portrait shots to give portrait photos that premium 50mm portrait look. iPhone 12 Pro Max has clearly won this segment. From edge detection to bokeh effect, edge separation line blend, edge cutouts, skin tone, color rendition, Details, textures, ambience, almost everything is better on iPhone 12 Pro Max. I will leave a few photos for you. You can check these and make a decision. Which one is better? Time for selfie portraits and these are taken with the front camera of Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra, I mean the selfie camera. Yes, once again, iPhone wins a battle. Selfie portraits taken with the selfie camera is way better on iPhone 12 Pro Max. These are selfie photos and this time we have decided to go with the rear camera of Mi 11 Ultra to take these selfies. There is this option and we should utilize it. What's your thoughts on this? Which one looks better? Finally, I know you have been waiting for this night mode performance of two monsters. Before I say another word, I will let you enjoy a few photos. Memories fade away, wither out, wither out. 
But I can't ignore the ache Lying deep underground You must have lost your way Look around, look around All we can do now is pray Make it count Okay, it's time to decide which one is better and yes, a lot depends on how you like your photos. Some people would argue that uh, if night mode photos are not bright enough, if it's not visible, then why we need night mode? But I think there are four factors that defines a good night mode photo. I call it DENS, details, exposure, noise removal and shadows. If any smartphone gets these four correct in night mode photos, then I will surely go with that. I know this is a bit controversial because a lot of people like this, another set of people would like that. But after checking all these photos, I have to say, Mi 11 Ultra is still not on par with iPhone 12 Pro Max. Maybe, maybe it's because Mi 11 Ultra is still on its uh, primary software. After updates, it will get better. As usually, Xiaomi update their smartphones and uh, the camera gets better. But at this moment, I am a bit disappointed. But I also cannot deny that Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra in different lighting conditions produced very good photos. Well, you always say I don't do this night mode videos. Let's enjoy this video for a while. Yeah, it's time to wrap up, but before that, considering the price, Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra is really a great smartphone. It comes with a very good camera setup. It just requires a bit polished stock camera software. On the other hand, iPhone 12 Pro Max was actually released last year. It already got some updates and I think it's already on its peak. Anyway, what do you think? Which one is better? I will wait for your comments. Also, if you have liked this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to this channel. Peace, say goodbye, cause the further we